Hi friends in our previous session we learned about two separation techniques centrifugation and chromatography we are still yet to understand the separation process of few of the components that we had collected now how do we get lpg acetone and common salt suppose by mistake you mix this acetone with water now how can you separate these two so what we will do here we are going to look at yet another interesting yet very important chemical separation process known as distillation now the science behind the process of distillation is very simple the separation of the two liquids by distillation depends upon the difference in their boiling points if there are two liquids one has a lower boiling point or more volatile liquid and one has a higher boiling point or less volatile liquid now when we heat this mixture the compound that has lower boiling point will start boiling first and starts forming vapors first right now we collect this gaseous form of the compound and condense it down and it turns back into liquid again now that we know the principle of distillation let's jump to the simulator in order to see the whole setup and the process of distillation we can see on the screen a setup for simple distillation process by clicking on labels we can see what all apparatus that we have on the table here let's start the process we need to first pour the liquid into the distillation flask let's start with solution a which is acetone and water Now we'll put the thermometer with the cork attached to it and close the distillation flask. Here we can see an outlet for water in and out. Let's click on them. Now our setup is ready and we just need to put the Bunsen burner on by clicking on the red button. We can set the heat to high. When the solution starts heating we can see the vapor start coming at 58 degrees this is the boiling point of acetone and we can see the vapors of acetone getting formed now these vapors travels from the water condenser which cools the vapors down and converted back into liquid acetone form which gets collected in the conical flask as we can see repeat the same process to obtain salt from the solution Do try this by yourself using the Scholar app and let us know. Well, this was about the simple distillation where we had a mixture with only two liquids. But there may be some liquids that might have three or four liquids mixed and have a very high boiling points like in the case of crude oil. In these cases, we don't use simple distillation, but we use fractional distillation which works on the same principle. Crude oil is a mixture of different hydrocarbon chains and it needs to go through the separation process to get useful products like petrol, diesel, gasoline, LPG, etc. For this, we use fractional distillation. Fractional distillation completes several simple distillations in one apparatus. Now in order to understand this in detail, we will look at the simulation. We can see that we have a container which is filled with crude oil and which is then connected to a furnace. till it forms vapors the heating is usually done with high pressure steam to temperatures of about 1112 degrees fahrenheit or 600 degrees celsius the mixture boils forming vapor or gases most substances go through into the vapor phase the vapor enters the bottom of the long column of fractional distillation column that is filled with trays or plates To see that let's click on the button that says play and put the furnace on. Now we have to click on the furnace. We can see that the trays have holes with caps on them to allow the vapor to pass through. They increase the contact time between the vapor and the liquids in the column and helps to collect liquids that form at various heights in the column. There is a temperature difference across the column. The column is extremely hot at the bottom. cool at the top as the vapor rises through the trays in the column it cools when a substance that is the vapor reaches a height where the temperature of the column is equal to that of the substance boiling point it will condense to form a liquid 
the substance with the lowest boiling point will condense at the highest point in the column as the column is coolest at the top and substances with a higher boiling points will condense lower in the column the trays collect the various liquid fractions as we can see the liquid fractions will pass to condensers which cool them further and then go to the storage tank or they may go to other areas for further chemical processing and friends this was all about distillation and fractional distillation well we may feel the objects that we use in daily lives are very easily available but after understanding the separation process we are sure that you know that it isn't very easy to actually obtain these products well i hope you have enjoyed this session this session is based on an interactive 3d simulation called scholar Visit www.scholarlab.in to request a download of the software application to try this out for yourselves. If you have liked this video then hit the like button, comment on any queries and yes, subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tute. Till then, keep watching, keep learning and follow your curiosity. Thank you.